can buy apple trees that are on a, a dwarf rootstock, you know, um, so that they never get too, too, too big. This is a John of Gold and there's, uh, oh, well, there's Cox Orange Pippins, um, which is a lovely little apple tree. And they have an ornamental pear and they have blueberry, they have all sorts of types of bushes. But why not grow your apple tree in a container? I mean, I don't see why not, it's a dwarf plant, but it's about putting it in the right size container to start off with. John Innes, John Innes compost, okay? It's the ingredients that are in it, right? So stop, um, I mean, it's fine to go and you pick up your multi-purpose if that's what you feel most comfortable with, but if you want to get something that has a little bit more body to it, um, which is what plants really need, it's John Innes. So we just want to get a bit of crock into the bottom of that. So I'll probably have about uh, two or three inches of crock at the bottom of this pot. Yeah, we want to pour that in there, please. Thank you. I might want to put a few annuals around it for the first year of its existence in this pot. And apart from slug pellets, I actually use WD-40 on my pots. See, see these are called leaders, right? They're the leaders of the plant. If you cut back the leaders and you get spurs growing, you get lots of fruit. When the fruit starts to establish, it's also important that you go and you thin out. There's no point in having a cluster of four apples. I, I think it's great, I think it's great. You can have it at your front door and it still looks really nice. When they are pruned, uh, it's like a, nearly like a, 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 a process like pollarding. They can actually look quite, quite sculptural in their pots. Good. Great.